Quality guru Philip B. Crosby wrote, Quality is free. It's not a gift, but it is free. What costs money are the unquality things, all the actions that involve not doing jobs right the first time. Cost of quality sounds easy to understand, but unfortunately, many misunderstand it. So let's see if you know the basic definition of cost of quality. Is it the product's price? The cost of not creating a quality product or service? Or the total cost of your quality department? If you answer the cost of not creating a quality product or service, you're right. So every time rework is needed when creating a product or providing a service, the cost of quality increases. In 2010, when Apple released the iPhone 4, it received a first-hand lesson in cost of quality. The internet buzzed with complaints about the phone's most basic function, calling, and that the phone was consistently dropping calls. While Apple downplayed the issue, customers were loading videos online, demonstrating when a spot on the left side of the case was touched, the signal was interrupted. You can see there is a signal difference between the 3GS and the iPhone 4. And here we go, uh, where I put that bottom corner right in the heel of my left hand. Um, that's when things go bad. And let me just kind of switch things around here to show you. It just takes a couple seconds, and uh, we usually lose the, uh, the call. And, you know, there it is right there. We lost the call. And here we are again. I put it back in the left hand, and there it goes. We lost the call. This happened at a bad time for Apple, with its control over the mobile device market facing stiff competition. But after complaints continued, Apple conducted a voluntary recall to fix the issue, at an estimated cost between 131 and 525 million US dollars. A hefty price tag for a timeless lesson. While quality is free, low quality always comes with a price. Over the years, there have been different terms to describe the various costs included in the cost of quality. Armand Fiegenbaum, the leader of the total quality movement, identified areas of cost. Costs of control include prevention costs, the costs of activities designed to prevent poor quality and appraisal costs, the cost of evaluating or measuring products for quality standards. Costs of failure of control include internal failure costs occurring before delivery of a product or service and external failure costs, failures after delivery. The sum of these costs is the total quality cost, representing the difference between the actual cost of a product or service and what the reduced cost would be if there wasn't a possibility of substandard service, failure of products, or defects in manufacturing. Organizations will lose a competitive edge unless they involve quality professionals who can accurately identify costs and maximize profits. For more about cost of quality, see the link below.